In addition to large systems that remove dust from major sections of a fabricating plant, vendors have developed a number of other dust capture tools, including portable collectors that can be moved around the shop as situations demand. These are particularly helpful in plants where only a minimum of dry cutting or polishing occurs. It's extremely important when monitoring air quality to check areas in which workers perform functions with these devices. In shops that are dry or partially wet, or where only sections of the facility are covered with air purification systems, these precautions should be taken to minimize exposure to crystalline silica. Wear disposable or washable protective clothing at the work site. Shower if possible and change into clean clothes before leaving the shop. Always wear adequate respiratory protection as specified by your company. When respirators are used, the employer must establish a comprehensive respiratory protection program as required in the OSHA Respiratory Protection Standard. Key elements of the program should include periodic environmental monitoring, regular training, selection of proper NIOSH approved respirators, an evaluation of the worker's ability to perform the work while wearing a respirator, respirator fit testing and maintenance, inspection, cleaning, and storage of respiratory protection equipment. Post warning signs to mark the boundaries of work areas that may exceed the permissible exposure limits, PEL, for contamination with respirable crystalline silica. Workers should be provided with training that includes information about health effects, work practices, and protective equipment required for respirable crystalline silica. Do not eat, drink, or use tobacco products in dusty areas. Wash hands and face before eating, drinking, or smoking outside of dusty areas. Park cars where they will not be contaminated with silica and other substances. You know, we can't stress this too much too often. Protecting the workplace and employees from respirable crystalline silica and eventually silicosis is really a simple proposition. There is no cure, but with the proper equipment, training, vigilance, and continuing monitoring, you and your shop can be free of the scourge of silicosis. It's as simple as that.